Hi, I'm Matt. I've worked as a private tutor for the last nine years of almost 10,000 hours of tutoring experience. And in the past year alone, I had four of my students achieve a perfect 36. Now in the rest of this video, I'm going to share some of the secrets that have helped my students achieve those top scores and tell you what I know is going to be on the February ACT. By the end of this video, you're going to have a really actionable plan for how you can get your best score ever in February. Let's start with math. Math is the hardest section on the ACT to prepare for because it tests over 200 different topics. One thing you need to know is the math section increases with difficulty as you work through the 60 questions. Expect the last 15 questions to be hard. Now, I've gone through the last 10 years of ACT math and kind of dug in deep. And in the rest of this video, I'm going to tell you the topics that I expect to appear on the February ACT, as well as the ones that I know are going to be on pretty much every single ACT. Particularly, I'm going to focus on the topics that are going to be easy for you to learn so you can improve your score quickly. The first topic I guarantee you're going to see in February is matrices. It's a very commonly tested topic and one that a lot of students have never learned or have entirely forgotten. There's a couple types of matrices questions, but we're going to start with the easiest, which is matrix addition and subtraction. I can teach you how to do this in just 15 seconds. So if we see a question like this, all we need to do is add the values in the same spots. So add the number in top left to top left, top right to top right, and so on to solve. If you do that, you can see here that the correct answer would be C. Later on the test, the ACT can include two advanced matrices topics, matrix multiplication, and find the determinant of a two by two matrix. If you haven't seen these types of questions for or don't know how to solve them, the good news is you can learn how to do these in just 10 minutes. Uh, you can learn these in the free trial to my ultimate ACT math course. The good news there, don't worry, there's no credit card involved. It's where I'll teach you guys everything you need to know for ACT math. Based on the last two years of the ACT, these are some topics that I would recommend you start with. These topics have a very high probability of appearing on your February ACT, and they're topics that are all fairly easy for you to learn. I've also created a comprehensive study guide that tells you what equations to memorize and concepts to know based on your math level. Now, what you can see on the screen right now gives you a breakdown of some of the most commonly tested topics on the ACT. I expect at least 75% of these to be on the February ACT. If you want to download the entire 14-page study guide, that is available as, as well as lessons for how to do all of these topics and, again, that free trial to my ACT math course. Next, let's talk about ACT English, which is incredibly easy to improve upon. Once you know the grammar rules, the test becomes really straightforward and predictable. Over 50% of my students are able to score 33 to 36 in this section, and lots of students are able to improve their score 8 to 10 points overall. Now, the problem that most of you are having right now is you're going through the English based on what you think looks right or sounds right, and the ACT knows you do that, so they write questions that are going to trick you. As an example, take a look at this one here. Go ahead and pause the video. See if you can figure out what you think the answer is going to be. So here, the correct answer is C. Now, the rule has to do with the words graduate students before the name. I just call this the names rule. It's on every single ACT. You will see this on your February test, so make sure you pay close attention. So graduate students is not specific to one person, so we have to know which graduate students, which means we put no commas. Again, that's why the answer is C. If it was specific to one person like my best friend or, say, Amazon CEO, then you would put commas around the person's name. You may have heard the tip, shorter and simpler is better on the ACT. Now, that's often true, but there's one important exception the ACT puts in almost every single test to try and trick you. It's something called ambiguous pronouns. So take a look at number 32 on the screen here as an example. You can go ahead and pause, see if you can figure out what you think the answer would be. Here, the correct answer is G. Now, you might have thought it was J because it's the shortest, but if we read these, if I say this or one or it, it's not clear exactly who or what we're referring to. So in this situation, we have to pick a longer answer so it's clear, and that's why the rose bush should be correct. Some of the other most commonly tested topics are listed here. You can sign up in the free trial of my ultimate ACT course to start learning some of these grammar rules. All the ones that are in yellow are ones that are included in the free trial of the course. I know I'm mentioning a lot of free trial things, but don't worry, there is not a credit card you need to sign up for any of these. It is really just free. Now let's talk reading, which is the exact same on every single ACT. The best way to prepare is to take a practice test. Now my two quick pro tips for the ACT reading is, number one, the ACT reading is like a Where's Waldo. What I mean by that is, on the ACT, once you find the right evidence, the correct answer is very, very clear. It's almost like a Where's Waldo. If I pointed at it, you'd be like, oh, I see it, there it is, the answer's B. You're not gonna find it challenging. The second tip is about the answer choices. For an answer choice to be correct, it has to be 100% correct, which means every single word has to be accurate. And it's really important, so I'll say that again. It has to be 100% correct. I want you guys to read like a lawyer. Be really, really picky. If there's anything wrong with the answer choice, you can cross off that entire thing. 
Finally, let's talk science. Now, don't let the name intimidate you. It's not actually science. It is a reading charts and graphs quickly test. So the most important thing is I don't want you guys to waste a bunch of time reading all the text. If you start reading everything, you're going to run out of time. What I want you to do is I want you to go straight to the questions and then work backwards from there. You want to do that for every single passage except the one that looks like this. This is our conflicting viewpoints passage. There is one of these. When you see the conflicting viewpoints one with the headings like scientist one, scientist two, or student one, student two, student three, I want you to, for this one, read the entire thing. My final prediction for you guys is more of a warning than a prediction. You guys are going to see a fifth section. Now, you're used to the ACT being your English, math, reading, science. The fifth section is just an experimental section. They're testing questions, so it does not affect your score. The proctors often don't make it obvious that it doesn't affect your score because they know you guys will just kind of sit back and relax or not take it seriously. But don't freak out when you get in there. If he's at fifth section, again, they're just testing questions on you. Other than that, I really hope this video helps you guys prepare for the February ACT and get some fantastic scores and be done with the ACT forever. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, there are links to that free math course and that ultimate ACT course free trial in there. You guys can check those out in the uh, description below. Otherwise, if you guys really enjoyed this video, please make sure you save it so you can come back and reference those lists of all the grammar rules and the math topics you should study. Uh, go ahead and share it with friends. Obviously, like and subscribe. I'll be posting much more ACT videos. Other than that, this is Matt at Preppers. Hope you guys have enjoyed. Good luck on that February ACT.